Hello, and welcome to Remote Tuning with EcuTech for Dummies. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get set up for phone flash, set information to your tuner so you can get started tuning, or use a desk key if that's what you opted for. First things first, you're going to get a kit from your tuner. In this case, obviously, it's from us at Racebox. In that, you'll have a business card for your tuner so you can reach out to them. Uh, if you opted for a desk key, it's going to come with a desk key. But all kits are going to come with this Bluetooth module, and this is the first feature that we're going to use. So let's pop that out of the kit and put the kit to the side. The most important thing before you begin, set up a battery charger. If your battery is low, you don't know it's low, if it fails during a flash, there's a risk of you breaking your ECU, and while most times it can be recovered, uh, it's just a process you don't want to go through. So always hook up a battery charger, go ahead, turn that on, set it to start, and we can get going in the car. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do with that Ecutech dongle that you pulled out, you're going to plug it in to your OBD2 port. This is obviously going to vary based on what car you're in. On the 2017 and onwards Q50s, it's all down here. So we're starting with phone flash, since that is the most popular option selected by customers these days. If you have a desk key and you opted to use a computer for your flashing process, uh, just fast forward to that part. Once the OBD Bluetooth adapter is plugged into your OBD port, you can go ahead and put the car in ignition on, but engine off. This is also known as accessory mode. You'll see your dash light up, and then you want to make sure that your headlights are turned off because you don't want any additional power draw. You want to make sure that your climate control is turned off. And you can leave music playing if you want. Just don't, if you have a, you know, like a subwoofer or something, just turn that off. Um, and then once that's all done, you got to go ahead and start pairing your phone because this is the first time you're going to use this. One important thing on these Infinities is they have a battery saver mode. Other cars probably have it too, but on Infinities, this is how you turn it off. So the car doesn't just turn off on you while you are trying to flash your car. And of course, I can't find it when I talk about it. Give me a second. Comfort and convenience. Yeah, there we go. It'll be called battery saver mode. Turn it off. It's all good. Uh, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to find the device. So once the car is in ignition on accessory mode, the OBD adapter is plugged in. You're going to try and find the device. It's going to be called EVI dash a series of numbers. If you're watching the screen recording on my phone, you're going to see I've paired to like five of these. Just obviously you're only going to have one of these. You're going to select that. You're going to pair it. And then you're going to go ahead and open your Ecutech app that you downloaded from either the Play Store or the App Store. The first thing you're going to do when you're in your Ecutech app is you're going to go to the settings icon and then you're going to go vehicle interface, you're going to go add slash remove and depending on the label on your Bluetooth adapter, it's either going to be an older style Bluetooth adapter or a Bluetooth low energy. Most of the new ones are Bluetooth low energy. You're going to click add EVI dash BTLE. It's going to scan for it uh, and you wait for it. Oh, there we go. You're going to select EVI 972C, which is what this one is. You're going to go back, and then you will go back. Then you're going to click My Car. You won't see this screen that has, you know, seven devices. It'll just automatically connect to the only one you have. If you do see a multiple one, just click the one you just paired. It'll say Initializing Vehicle Interface. It'll ask you to set up a passcode. Set this to something you're always going to remember you know, something easy or dumb like 1111 or your birth date or something. We're just going to do 000 for this for demonstration purposes. That's just so that if you're at the track, someone can't, you know, hook up to your Ecutech and change your maps on you or something. Honestly, I don't see any scenario in the, where that happens, but it's a feature they included, so we use it. It'll say initializing race ROM. Some cars take longer than others. Once you're there, you're going to go to program ECU, and you're going to see an option that says send vehicle info to tuner. You press that, it'll ask you to select a tuner. Um, you know, if you're one of our customers, you're going to select Racebox LLC. And then once you do that, it will pop up another screen that asks you for information on your car. Uh, it'll say you need an Ecutech account to do this. So you have to set up an account. You're going to create an account. Uh, in this case, I already have an account. So I'm just going to um, put it under one of my colleagues' names. You got to consent and agree to all the privacy policies. Click create. Once that's logged in, uh, you know, save it if you want, I guess, to your Google because my phone apparently wants me to. 
And now Google thinks there's a data breach. This is very useful, Google. Thank you. Then you're going to click Send Vehicle Info to Tuner again. It's going to ask you to enter the make model. Please try and make this as accurate as possible. Don't send us something like Zaddy Zupra. We just want to know what car it is. So real simple, Infiniti. This is a Q50 Red Sport, a very beautiful 2021 Q50 Red Sport. And you know, include all-wheel drive or rear-wheel drive if you want. You'll probably just tell us in your email anyway. You're going to click Send to its Racebox LLC. It'll say the information was sent correctly. Tuner should get in touch with you. Great. Click OK. Back on out of there. And now you wait for a file to be sent from us. Now, if you've already received your file, uh, you're going to go to Program ECU. Uh, you're going to go to Engine, and you will see Files here. You're going to select the file. It's usually going to be called V1 and you're going to flash it. All right, now that the car is programmed, you're going to want to data log it. Every tuner is going to have a specific set of parameters they want you to log. Uh, we're very, very picky on what we like to log, so you're going to have a list from us. It's usually a text file sent by myself or Alex, and you're going to go into data logging, and at the top right, there's a settings button, and here you'll see all of these selected. The first thing you want to do is deselect all, and then you're going to go through and select the ones that we ask for, uh, the names we have in our text files are identical to what's in the app, so you got to match them exactly as they show in the text file. So if it says accelerator sensor 1, you want to use accelerator sensor 1, you don't want to use accelerator sensor 2. Common issue we have is people will select stuff like wastegate position sensor rather than wastegate position. Um, they report differently. One reports a voltage, one reports an actual position. So it's very important you follow that correctly. Once that's done, you've selected all of them, you go back. It's automatically saved and you'll see all of your data logging. Then you back on out of there, go back into data logging. When you're ready to take your file, you just click start, do the run. At the end of it, let off, click stop. And that will automatically appear in my files. And you'll find it as the most recent data log. You click that, share, send to Racebox LLC. You can say data log one. Sent that off. We'll receive it on our end and we'll get back to you with a revision within 24 to 48 hours. For those of you that opted to flash with a Windows laptop, um, you're gonna wanna grab, first things first, a Windows laptop. You're showing the Ekitech kit, but you want a Windows laptop. Uh, unfortunately, Ekitech doesn't support any other operating systems. It does work on, a, on an Apple uh, laptop if you have Parallels or something running where you're running Windows. Uh, but yeah, you're gonna open up the Ekitech kit and very important, when we say desk key, this little black USB key is what we mean. The desk key or dongle is this. Sometimes the OBD adapter is also referred to as a Bluetooth dongle, but when it's just dongle or desk key, it's referring to this black USB key. So you're gonna pop that out. Uh, you're gonna plug it into your computer. Um, of course, if you have one of the newer laptops, you're gonna want a USB-C adapter, so you're gonna Pop it into a USB-C oh, USB adapter. See, I suck at this too. You're going to plug this in. You're going to go to www.ecutech.com. And then you're going to go to download. And there's going to be something called Ekitech App Downloader. You're going to click that. There's a big green button too. Download that. Then you're going to open it. Um, it's going to open up this little picture right here. And it's going to say, have your vehicle interface and license key with you. Uh, you click Next. And you're going to leave all these defaults selected where it installs all the drivers and the app downloader. Click Next. Uh, it'll go ahead and download that software for you. It's going to ask you to plug in your vehicle interface. So go ahead. You can unplug the desk key for now because it needs to install the drivers. So you're going to take this little USB cord out. Obviously, you've got a USB-A and a micro USB or mini USB, the older one. You're going to pop your Bluetooth adapter out. You're going to plug this in. And then you're going to go hook it back up. 
plug it into your computer. Your computer is going to make a little ding sound to tell you that it has now recognized that this has been plugged in. You're going to click next and then it's going to ask you to now insert your license key. Found it. False alarm. You know, plug that in. It's going to make a little ding, tell you it's been installed or connected. Click next. And then it's going to say run Ecutech app downloader. At this point, you're going to click download now and it's going to open a window where it starts downloading for you. Uh, after that process is complete, you will have Pro ECU downloaded on your computer. If you run into issues where it says um, Ecutech uh, not or Pro ECU not downloaded, usually it means your internet connection is not great or your tuner did not set up your dongle and you need to reach out to them. Okay, now you're going to open Pro ECU once all that's downloaded. We have to switch cars because the battery died even though it was on a jumper box. So keep your batteries charged. Q50 batteries suck. At least this time we're in a cool manual though. Check it out. I know you like that. Okay, so now you're gonna have same thing. You're gonna turn off your headlights, turn off your climate control, leave music running if you want. Yeah. I wanna be very clear, not my music choice. This is Alex's music choice. Anyway, with the black USB key plugged into your computer along with your blue, your green Bluetooth dongle, Plugged into your computer, you're going to go to your computer, you're going to search for Pro ECU. You're going to click that. It's going to open the software. Uh, it has this nice little splash screen. And then up top on the left, it'll tell you, first of all, that you have zero flash points left. If you have already been sent a file, you're going to want to update this. You're going to click first, help, Ecutech update. And this is just a good habit to always do this. Uh, make sure you have a good internet connection. Uh, it takes a while. Uh, might not show here because I don't have an internet connection. Oh, look at that. It worked. You're going to click update software and then uh, update drivers and help. Update ROM library if there's any updates. And then check for flashpoint updates. This is where if your tuner added flashpoints for you to flash your car is going to show up and it'll say, you know, 300 flashpoints successfully added. X out of there. You're going to go to first. You're we're going to want you to send us a query of your car. You're going to go tools, detect vehicle. It will automatically detect the car. You're gonna, it's the first selection is gonna be program engine ECU, click OK. And then you're just gonna very quickly uh, click query ECU. Um, ignore this error, we're gonna edit it out. You're gonna edit this out, great. You're gonna take this, uh, this right here, and you're just gonna copy paste what's in here into an email and send it to us. That way we know what your ECU ID is. After that, uh, let's say we send you a file. You're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna plug into your car. You're gonna check Ecutech update for flash points. Then you're gonna go uh, click detect vehicle, program engine ECU. You're gonna open a custom ROM file. You're gonna select the file that we sent you. So you're gonna click program ECU. It's gonna go through the process. There'll be a little uh, progress bar at the bottom. Once that completes, it's going to ask you to cycle the ignition. You're going to follow the prompts and then you're going to put it back in accessory mode. You're going to let the car clear DTCs. You're going to say yes to that. Once that's done, you turn it off. You can turn the engine on now. Your car is ready to drive and you can go back to the reference, the Bluetooth portion of this video on how to data log the car. And then you're going to send us the data logs the same way and that's it. And then you'll be on your way to remote tuning. All right, so that concludes how to remote tune your car using Ecutech, whether via phone flash or using your laptop. Um, if you've got an OTS map from us, that's just gonna be a one and done. You're gonna flash it, you're gonna log it. We're just gonna courtesy review one set of logs, let you know the car looks good and you'll be on your way. Uh, if you got a full custom tune through us, you know we're gonna go back and forth. You're gonna do that process a few times and get us logs, then you'll be on your way. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.